everybody. Hold on. I gotta take care of something. <clears throat> okay. Step one complete. Ah, that's better. Now on with the show. Well, I know it's been only a week since I had my notorious historic meltdown here on the tube, but I can say that within this week, I have totally changed. You know how easy it is for someone to totally change their whole being within a week, right? One of my subscribers got scammed here on YouTube and it's changed my whole perspective. I've been getting calls this week from folks like uh, Momo Pushmo Man and Coke Float and Tito Santana and I forgive them. They asked for uh, my forgiveness and I gave it to them. Because like the Grinch, during this past week, my small little tiny, my small little tiny damn crumb of a heart has grown three sizes. And I wanna say uh, my sincere apologies to everyone out there. Except for the lawn Because if hating them is wrong, I don't want to be right. They can make their nasty videos about me. I'll be a martyr. But another negative word shall ever cross my lips about them. And as you know, I never say something one day and then turn around and do the opposite the next. Ever. Now here, have some Kool-Aid. my bitches my dirty little cat cigars how are y'all doing today uh mickey not so damn good it's a rainy day in tennessee <laughs> not good for mickey and getting any work done but i have some loose ends that i need to tighten up or cut off or whatever the fuck you do with loose ends uh, left over from uh, the days of the disease that I like to call BLT. That's right. What a pain in my ass he's been. But I'm trying to uh, do a little uh, rehabilitation of my image, as they would say in France. Oh, oui, oui. Parlez-vous uh, français, huh? Yeah. Well, got a do this damn mower giveaway thanks to you buttholes that won't let me skate by and forget about it I was trying my damn best but y'all stay on my ass I mean I'll give y'all that y'all stay on my ass we got to do that and we've also got to uh, take care of a little check for a certain fundraiser that we did and we're going to wrap that up Get that out of the way, you nosy mother But we're gonna take care of both those things today. Are you happy, asshole? Well, here it is. Gonna give it away. Thanks, assholes. I know, but then some of you are probably going, Manic! What's all the red stuff all over the mower? Stop it, Mimi! I called up 
of a wonderful, wonderful company that I'm affiliated with, Super Sheen. And I asked them, do you want to be part of this giveaway? And they jumped at the chance. They loved the idea. So they sent over some products and it's gonna, they're going to go with the mower. And I had a woman writing and she, it was a winning letter. And she was saying that her husband is a piece of shit, deadbeat, that just lays on the couch all day with his thumb up his ass. And uh, she wants to get him out of the house, you know, get him out doing some kind of work, something, some damn thing. So, it seemed like as good a letter as any. So that's who it's going to. And uh, the woman happens to be my sister. And, uh, you know, that's her deadbeat piece of shit husband, Steve. <laughs> uh, we're going to try to get him out of the house doing something. So uh, he gets to come by and pick her up. And I'm just going to leave it out here in the rain, you know, because I'm a douche like that. So he comes and picks it up. Uh, but that's all, folks. Finally giving it away. Hope you're satisfied. Okay, all you ball busters. Here's the other part of the equation. Here is the check. $1,875. Here's the form where I'm sending it in, which I'm not going to fill that out right now. Go to all that trouble because I'm going to Throw it away in about five minutes. Uh, here is the envelope, which I'm not going to waste a stamp on. But there you go. Are you satisfied? The check and the paper are now in the envelope. I'm not going to seal it because it has this self-adhesive uh, strip here. I'm not going to seal it. I don't know what that means, but... Uh, I'm not sealing it, but there's the address where it's going. <sighs> I hope you're happy. I know some of you aren't going to be. I mean, the only way I could do it is uh, put it in an envelope in one solid shot, seal it, drive it with the camera on the thing all the way to the post office, drop it in a box that I can't get it out of. And that's, you know, because you don't trust my ass. Fuck y'all. Hello, this is King Brando with another version of Droppings of Knowledge with King Brando. Don't let your employee weed eat, okay? Well, we won't have that problem if it keeps snowing. I don't understand where this is coming from. Come in here to take a nice dookie. And now I got the runs. I recommend that you uh, mow, or uh, let your employee mow, and you weed eat, okay? I know you own the business. I know you've worked hard to get to where you are, but I think it's best that you weed eat your yards. Then, when your employee leaves, it's not that big a strain on you. You can, uh, you're doing just as much work with the weed eater that you were before. Only, all you gotta do is jump on the mower after you're done. When you're weed eating more, you get on the mower, you get out of shape, your helper's all in shape. What's gonna happen when he leaves? That's all. I have a bonus droppings of knowledge for you today. Super thick yards, okay? Everybody knows super thick yards are great because you know they're growing, but they're bad in the way that you have to keep mowing. Like, uh, sometimes I mow three times on a thick yard. That's way too much time to be spending on a yard. Stripes, meh. Not into stripes. I think you think differently when you're younger because you want to take more pride in your yard after you're done. And there's no better instant gratification than putting stripes in your yard. <coughs> Uh, it just takes more time to do it. You need a thicker yard. Just takes more attention, loving, and care. 
mow your yard, move on. Also, when you don't lay the stripes, you uh, are protecting the yard from ruts. To lay stripes, you have to train the yard to cut the way you want to. This has been Droppings of Knowledge with King Brando. I hope you enjoyed. If you disagree, write down in the comments that you disagree. We're gonna try an experiment this week. Hit the like button. Go down and actually hit the like button. We're gonna see how many likes we get experimenting. Thank you very much for watching Lawn Stars and all their lawn care knowledge. Uh, oh, that felt so good. That's it. I think we're ready to go now. It's gonna be tough. Using more paper now. Oh yeah, by the way, that's King Brando to you.